Welcome to the EAU podcast. In this edition, we have Professor Christophe Inike from France talking to EuroOnco Prostate Cancer Educational Platform Associate Editor Dr. Constance Thibault about the trial results he presented at ASCO GU24. Dear colleagues, welcome to this EAU podcast. I'm very happy to be with Professor Christophe Enquin, who's a radiation therapist in Paris. Professor Enquin, we are here for the ASCO GU meeting where you just presented the results of the GETUG AFU 18, which evaluated a dose escalation to treat patients with high-risk prostate cancer. What was the design of the study? So the GETUG group designed this phase three randomized trial comparing high dose versus standard dose of radiotherapy in high-risk prostate cancer. Uh, dose escalation in prostate cancer has been evaluated by many randomized trials uh, most of them show benefit in biochemical control, but the benefit in overall survival was never demonstrated clearly. So these phase three trials uh, include patients with high risk cancer, either with a PSA higher than 20, Gleason score higher than eight, and or clinical T3, T4 stage, randomized between 70 gray versus 80 gray, all patients receive a long-term hormonal treatment, three years, and the main primary endpoint was a progression-free survival. And what about the results? And so uh, we show a clear benefit in progression-free survival, about 14% at 10 years, highly significant. And this uh, benefit uh, translates into uh, an improvement also in cancer-specific survival and overall survival. And this is the first time that uh, clinical trial shows this kind of benefit. What was the technique of radiotherapy used in this trial? Uh, Two types of technique have been used, uh, conformal radiotherapy 3D or IMRT. And uh, uh, interestingly, more patients in the high-dose arm receive IMRT than in the low-dose arm. And this difference in uh, uh, technique of treatments could explain the lack of difference in the toxicity between both arms. Do you think that the dose of 80 gray will become the new standard of care for patients with high-risk prostate cancer? Yes, it could, it should. But uh, in fact, now we are using uh, hypofractionated radiotherapy. And the question now is, what is the equivalence of 80 gray with an hypofractionation regimen? So this is a um, today question. Thank you very much, Professor Enquin. And thank you, everyone, for listening to this podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of EAU Podcast. To keep up to date with prostate cancer developments, visit our educational platform, EuroOnco Prostate Cancer. For more EAU Podcasts, please go to your podcast app and subscribe to our EAU Podcast channel for regular updates. 